FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. Uh, feeling good, sounding bad. Uh, I posted the chart up here of the Treasury bonds, folks. They're in a free fall, making new lows on this move, breaking out weekly lows to the downside. The market does not care about that because the stocks are strong with the Dow Jones. Uh, Dow Jones is weakening a little bit, but the others, uh, the Russell and is down just a tad, but the S&P and the NASDAQ have uh, moved up substantially from earlier lower levels uh, from yesterday, but, but they've made a very, very strong recovery today. Price of uh, gold is up slightly uh, at uh, 1921, and silver is up slightly, and also copper is up slightly. The main news today, folks, is to watch what's happening in that Treasury bond market, folks. That market is bigger than the stock market by about a factor of six times, and that is real serious money. And as you can see here, we've been thinking they were probably going to get down to this level, and they're they're dropping rapidly. Now, if you remember the last time we were on here on Thursday, I said that these things looked like they were getting ready to break the uh, 118 level which in fact uh, they did do today, and it looks like there's a price objective down there close to 116. This is gonna be interesting because the uh, Federal Reserve may come out and say, well, we're not gonna raise rates anymore, and maybe things will all be okay in Camelot, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how this all works out before we finish it up. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today, and I think it's important to really watch what's going on in the volatility of some of these markets, folks, because we are seeing tremendous volatility in everything. We see 2 and $3 swings in crude oil intraday. Look at the at NASDAQ. NASDAQ has had uh, it stopped at the 382 on the way up, dropped 160 points, and then rallied 160 points. That's a 320-point move in the NASDAQ in a matter of just a few hours. Uh, that is uh, hard to believe, but that is where we stand. So let's pay close attention to these markets because they have a tendency to run a long way when they do. You don't want to stand in front of it, that's for sure. And I think one thing, if you have any questions, please call in 877-927-6648. We'll try to answer them for you if we can. Be right back. 